Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of our winter knowledge crate. I have my daughter Bella Hi. with me. She's the one who obviously does most of the activities in this crate. Um, but it's one of our favorite subscription boxes. We've been using it for a long time. And we love it because it has lots of different subjects in it. So it has like science-based projects. It comes with usually four or five books with every crate. And as well as like usually different writing activities, like a journal with some type of like fun pencil, things like that. There's usually um, sensory type activities. Um, all kinds of stuff. So we just love it. It tends to last us a few months. It's great to have around at the house if the kids are just bored and need something to do. Um, we'll pull it out and, you know, find an activity in there. So we, we love our knowledge crates. I will link them down below. They have so many different options. They have mini crates, um, preschool crates. We get the school age crates because my daughter is in second grade, so that's more her age range. Um, but they have all kinds of options on there, so definitely check out their site. I can't recommend them enough. This um, season's box is probably the largest that we have ever gotten. So just for reference, I'll show you when we first started getting the Knowledge Crate um, subscription. This was... Well, still is their box, but it no longer comes just like this. So, for this season, this is what we got. <laughs> it's huge. So, yeah, that just kind of goes to show you um, how much fun activities are in here. So, we're just going to start going through. We haven't opened it yet. We just got this in the mail this past week. So, this is the first time we're seeing everything that came as well. And... I think I mentioned this is the winter crate, so it, they do usually have like a theme for the season. So since this one is the winter crate, there will probably be more winter type themes or colors, things like that to keep in mind. So, ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. This is the non-special bag, so we're probably going to take it in on the like, um, end of this video. Because we're going to do a lot of stuff. Alright, do you want to pull stuff out and yeah. show them? Okay, so this looks like the solar system. And I think that it shows every planet. But I don't know what it's uh, going to show us yet and tell us. So. Yeah, so it looks like this is going to be a solar system project. Um, inside here somewhere, I'll show you. They have a um, seasonal kind of like magazine packet type thing that comes with it and it explains each project and like what to do and what to use it for and a lot of the items um will be labeled as well like this goes with this project and such so all right you find a favorite yeah this one is going to probably be what i want to do it's gold and silver slime kit i'm probably going to w want to do it here because I actually love slime and I love making awesome. slimes all the time. I yeah. like making slime and buying slime. Slime is like my favorite. Kids like probably always love slime. Um, so slime and Play-Doh is definitely a favorite around here. Yeah. Um, but they usually always send some type of, like I said, sensory, like Play-Doh, kinetic sand, slime, things like that. Looks like we got another science kit here. This is a big one. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> big boy. Solar system model making kit. So you make these, you, I think, probably decorate all of these planets and set them up in the solar system. Yeah, it's probably what the solar Sorry about the light. Um, system is over there. Yeah. So it looks like there's quite a bit of science this time, which is one of her favorites. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And I don't think we've really done the solar system much or touched on it in our homeschool um, since kindergarten or last year so that'll be um, a good thing to touch on. The next item says school age books and I think it's just uh, some school books and stuff so let's, see. Um, let's just open it. Mm -hmm. 
There's usually different age ranges in the books, like books that are the reading level that the child could read, as well as like chapter books if you want to do read alouds. It's kind of a mixture. So, right. what solar system book? Stink Solar System Superhero. <laughs> Okay. Do you know what that says? Uh, I don't know what it can say. It's a long word. What are the constellations? That sounds like a fun one. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll read it and you'll understand. It looks like this book comes right here. So. so I know what these are, but you haven't done this before. But there's a Mad Libs um, packet in here. So... Bella, you actually will be filling in words and sentences with words that you choose and then you read it and it's usually really funny once you read it. So we'll oh. we'll do some of those. Okay. Next one looks like about space again. Yeah, so it looks like all these books are definitely space based. So like I said, there's different levels. Um, <clears throat> this book is a level three. Space, planets, moons, stars, and more. I'll show that one. This one's also a level three. Space, heroes, amazing astronauts. So this is great, I think, if you are like planning a unit study or just going through certain subjects in your homeschool to like, I mean, you have like everything you need along with the solar system stuff. So we've used the the items that come in this subscri subscription box for unit studies in the past and it's just nice because you don't have to go out and look for this stuff it just all comes to you and makes it so much easier the next one looks like it's going to be about crystals and it says glow crystal growing kit oh that's fun this reads get creative with different colors while growing and learning about crystal stones and the uh, prop Properties. Properties. Have fun with these creative and easy experiments. Okay, so crystal growing kit. Those are always fun. All right, so now we're getting to the actual knowledge crate of what fits in their box. This is heavy. So, yeah. This is originally, like I said, what we would have gotten, but obviously all these other things that they sent didn't fit this time around. But the price hasn't changed for us so I just want to say that even if it doesn't fit in the box what I have paid is the same <clears throat> okay. Ooh, says thank you. so they always have very nice packaging with a thank you card yeah oh it's a star I want it hmm? I think it's a beautiful star I don't know if you can see, but it's like very glittery. So this is the activity guide that I was mentioning. So they basically explain to you each activity and the step-by-step -step of how to do it. They even have pictures of like examples of what things should look like or how it should turn out. So it really helps, you know, just having everything kind of like open and go ready for you to just open this up and pick a project. And it's also nice because sometimes we don't get to all of these um, as soon as we get the crate. So like I just hold on to these activity guides and keep them in the box. And so if we ever open it up months down the line, I can just see exactly what the items are for um, and do the project at any time. Okay, so like I said, most of these are going to be labeled. So they send any any like items that you need to do the project, they're going to send you. So paper, um, toilet paper, like <laughs> everything that you need to do the activity they will send you. So all of it is labeled with which project it is for. So you just pull out everything that you want for that project once you look at the activity guide and pick what you want to do. This one says planet R. It might be backwards to you guys because the well, game... Well, I can edit that. Okay. Was, they'll be able to read it. Oh. Um, yeah, so it says Saturn Art Project. So a lot of the times they'll send like paint or pastels, things like that, to go along with different art projects. You can just kind of leave it down here while we go through it. Okay. Ooh, jumbo water beads. Ooh, I love water beads. Yeah, let's show them. So 
There's um, usually water beads, I think, in almost every um, kit that we get. So toilet paper for a project. <laughs> toilet I love the toilet paper. It's so fun. What's, What's that one? What does it say? Ooh, it says um, toys inside, play, foam, pause, space, squad. And it looks like it's slime. I don't know. It just looks like a bunch of purple bars and stars. Yeah, play, foam, space, squad. So maybe there's a little character inside this, like, foam here. Yeah. Okay, and then Play-Doh accessories, so there's usually different um, like themed toys that come with the Play-Doh. Looks like there's some astronauts and planets in here. Yeah. Okay, Ooblick kit. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but everything that you need um, to do that project is in here. I'm not even sure what it is because I haven't looked through the activity guide yet. Can you show these to them? Yeah, these are stickers if you want to show them. These are stickers, and it looks like there's some stars and some green circles. And this is just um, some different items that you need for any of the projects. So any pens, pencils, scissors, glue, any of that stuff they're going to send to you. So it's actually really nice just for school pies in general. A lot of times I don't have to buy glue or play-doh or pencils because we get so many from them uh, this says chalk pastels chalk pastels yeah it's probably for one of the art projects yeah and next here's one. a tube probably for another project yeah like it's empty Ooh, space sensory rice Ooh, look at this this is kind of heavy but look see it's like black and purple inside rice that maybe you can put some of the toys inside of. Yeah. Really so cool space. We usually always get a journal for them to do a journaling project. I can open it. It might be like blank because we're going to like draw in there. Then you've got some um, different planet information cards. Okay. This is some. Galaxy word search. And a space I spy. And usually with all of these, um, they are, um, oh, what's the word? You can use um, the markers on here and wipe them off. So I usually just hole punch these and keep them dry erase. That's what I'm trying to think of. I keep them in a binder so we can just use them over and over again for different fun activities. And they always give you a dry erase marker in that little um, activity bag. Okay, Neptune art, so that's for another project. Yeah, it's blank, so it's probably going to be gone. It's probably the colored, uh, or the, the pastel chalk is probably going to be used on all of this black paper. Ooh, there's a sparkly one for this one. 3D plant, planet paper. Yeah. So it's all separated out by the project. See the good. Yeah. You can probably keep those down there together. Yeah. This is looks the same. Um, shooting star art project. Yeah. It looks like there's some more. Oh, so they gave us bonus paper, it says. Bonus art paper. This is the constellation packet. So it has the different constellations in here for an activity. Okay, this is the last item. Um, this is, um, again, a dry erase um, activity story map, so they can learn to break down um, stories by different characters, settings, things like that, if you remember doing those in school. All right, so that is all of our activities um, for the Winter Knowledge Crate. Like I said, I'll make sure to link them down below so you can check them out. You won't regret it, and your kids will love it. Right? Yeah. There <laughs> might be, we might make some videos of us uh, doing some of these projects. Yeah, so. we can definitely, um, if you want to, follow us on Instagram as well. I'll make sure to tag that here, and you can see some of the projects that we do. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>